Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. We have some big news. The FAA has stated that SpaceX is ready to go for the flight and they're just waiting for the Fish and Wildlife Service to conclude their investigation into basically the water deluge system down at Starbase, Texas. Now, I want to show you some new stuff that just happened. Marcia Smith, um, who is spacepolicyonline.com. FAA just issued this statement regarding Starship. I was going to show you the statement, but she says it right here in this tweet. So there's no reason to show you the whole statement. She quotes it. The FAA completed the safety review portion of the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy license evaluation on October 31st. But the Fish and Wildlife Service still needs to complete the environmental review before a license can be issued. And then Marsha added onto this. I asked just to be sure if the only outstanding item is the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service review and FAA replied, SpaceX has completed all corrective actions as required by the mishap investigation report. That's 63 items that SpaceX had to complete. And the environmental review is the last major element of the license evaluation process. Now, just a little bit ago, SpaceX loaded up Starship for a full wet dress rehearsal. That's basically loading up everything, the propellant, all the ground systems, all the people, all the fuel, everything in the Starship ready to go, but they didn't hit the launch button. It's ready to go. So all they're waiting on is this environmental review from the Fish and Wildlife Service. Now, this is the, the original FAA complete Starship uh, safety review. This is the one that we uh, I reported on yesterday with, <laughs> with with the fun edit this out part of the video. I know I messed up. I didn't have time to edit it out. I was leaving the house, so I didn't have time to edit that out. So it was cut. It was funny. Okay, so I'm not a professional uh, reporter over here sometimes. So you get what you get sometimes, right? So basically, the FAA completed the safety review portion of the SpaceX Super Heavy Starship license evaluation on October 31st. Safety review is focused on issues that affect public health and safety of property. I'm laughing because I forgot to edit that out. It consists of evaluating the applicant's safety organization, safety uh, system safety processes, flight safety analysis, and quantitative risk criteria for launch, reentry, and vehicle disposal. Basically saying SpaceX's Starship is ready to go. The FAA is continuing to work with the environmental review or on the environmental review as part of this environmental review. The FAA is consulting with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, USFWS, on an updated biological assessment under the Endangered Species Act. Basically, the new deluge system and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, they're, I don't know, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is debating on if the new deluge system is going to work with the environment at Starbase. So that's where we're at right now. And something that's really interesting that just happened, one of our own, the everyday astronaut, Tim Dodd. Things are getting serious. I'm heading down to Mars Studio B in the next week to help with final preparations to stream the second all up flight test of Starship. Everyday astronaut is going down there. Things are getting serious. And look at this gear that he has. He has some incredible, incredible gear. He has a crane. Has this gigantic, the acid cam too. Look at that lens. Oh, you can't really see it. Can't really see it. Hold on. See if this will work. But anyway, you can't. Can't really see it. This lens is ginormous. Basically, Tim is saying that he's going down to Starbase. He's going to go down to Mars Studio B. Probably going to have some on-location videos from there. Um, he's going to have a live stream 4k slow-mo capture with three X telescopic trackers from three different angles Tune into Tim. Tim's the man. So, uh, that's where we're at right now. It looks like everything's moving forward. So if Tim is confident, that the fish and wildlife service are going to get done with the review soon. I think we're in a good spot to say pretty much the same thing. So take that for what you will. Um, I think we're in a good spot and I think the launch is coming sometime soon. Let me know in the comments down below when you think it's going to happen. And once the FAA and the Fish and Wildlife Service approve SpaceX's environmental review, then it'll be time for the FAA to issue a launch license. But until then, SpaceX can't launch the rocket. Um, I'm guessing, I don't think it's going to be mid. I think it's going to be a little bit later than the 15th. I think it'll probably be like, you know, the, the mid to late um, November timeframe. And the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service do have until February 
to, uh, <laughs> to to get their review done, but uh, it doesn't look like anybody in the know, um, you know, is going to wait that long. So Tim is heading down to uh, heading down to Texas. So keep your eyes peeled. Uh, I'll let you know if there's any more information out there. Make sure to subscribe if you watch this long, because this is an important uh, mission. The IFT two mission is going to be. Uh, fundamental for the future of the starship program if they can nail this if they can make it all the way to hawaii with the starship and if they can land the booster sort of okay in the gulf of mexico this is going to push them forward so far so also i want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the show everyone who's coming back to the show and everyone who's been here for a long time thank you so much for that and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button join our community we have a discord down below in the description and uh that's about it for now so i'll see you later guys take care of yourselves and each other and have a great day oh it's snowing outside what oh no <laughs> no oh winter has hit already it is snowing. I thought we were going to get a little, maybe a little bit. It's dumping. Oh, man. Oh, Texas is so nice. Sounds so much better than snow right now. Okay. Bye, everybody.